So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to repair your honeycomb ceramic block when it breaks, because they always break. And it sucks when it happens. So let's get started. Obviously, I broke my ceramic block, and it happened the weirdest way. I was hammering something, and something fell off my top shelf and smashed it. So, it's not trash. You could technically still use it, just like this. And it gives you multiple levels to solder with, or solder across things. So, it's not 100% a bad thing when you break one of these. But, I don't want it broken. So, I'm going to put it back together. And to do this, you basically need to figure out the puzzle of where these pieces go, if you've moved them around a bunch like I have. So, once we get it back together like that, we need to actually sew it together, basically. And to do that, I'm going to be using some thin copper wire. I saw this somewhere on Instagram a long time ago, and it was just a picture of someone's block with everything sewn and obvious cracks. And I was like, that's genius. I would give them credit, but I have no idea who it was, and it was a long time ago when I saw it. So, to do this, I'm just going to cut a length of wire. Separate it out on a flat surface. And just make sure that your wire will actually fit through your holes in this. So I'm going to start with the biggest piece. Something like that. And then I'm going to bend it over the outside just to anchor it in place. Then start sewing it together. I tried not to go into the hole that is closest to the edge because you can actually break those out. So go a couple in if you can. It does help to use some pliers sometimes, but don't pull too hard because you'll actually crush the um, piece. Alright, so I have one piece on now. And you can actually go through and just push all of these down to tighten it up. It's still going to be a little bit movable, but at least you're going to have a solid piece. So once I get it to that point where I don't have any more um, wire and it's kind of hit, hit an end point, I kind of just cut it off and let it sit there inside of the honeycomb. And then I'm going to start a new one and go through here and just get that done and probably attach the bigger piece and finish this up. All right, so there we go. Once I have it at this point, you can start pressing all of these down to tighten it up so it's not as wiggly. You can also just grab them with some pliers and twist, and then press them down, and it'll start pulling stuff together. Alright, so there we go. And you can see it's nice and solid now. All I need to do is go through and cut off any of the ends that are sticking up, and you're good to go. Your piece is back together. So, so you can use this with no problems, um, still solder everything like you normally would. You might melt some of these if you put too much heat into them, but you can just re-sew it if you need to. But I, in the past, I've never actually melted any of this. So, I hope that's helpful for anyone that's broken one of these, or when you break yours, you can put it back to normal again, or as close as possible. So if you click the video right here, it is Tube Suggested Video, a video that they think that you would like of mine the most. Or there's a playlist down here of a bunch of other jewelry tutorial videos. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.